on my previous restroom trailer videos, a lot of people say, but they're not ADA compliant. So yeah, on some of my previous restroom trailer videos, the most common comment is they're not ADA compliant. Basically, you're gonna get in trouble. You need to supply ADA compliant stuff. And the answer is no, I don't. I'm just a rental company. I just dropped this off. I'm not the one putting on the event. If this was at a business or a venue who needed to supplement their restrooms or, or you know, they're actually running the business, then they would need to comply with ADA stuff. Um, there is this one barn we go to whose bathroom is in the basement. You can't get to it without stairs. So right outside they have a restroom, uh, a porta potty actually, for people with wheelchairs. So it kind of sucks that the wheelchair people got to go in a gross porta potty, but they're being ADA compliant. Uh, if they were going to do restroom trailers, you can get a restroom trailer with an ADA compliant thing. It's usually like a piece, like actually comes down when you uh, when you drop it off, and then wheelchairs and uh, disability uh, people can get in there. But me, as a rental company, I am just dropping this thing off. Most of them are to backyards anyways, so it doesn't really apply. And even if I'm dropping it off at a business, it's not my job to be ADA compliant. It's theirs. They know that this restroom trailer is not ADA compliant when they order it. If you wanna order one, you're gonna have to find a company that has it, and most companies don't do it because, like I said, it's just not needed. I don't need to spend an extra $20,000 to get an ADA compliant restroom trailer because I'm just the equipment rental company. It's not on me. And if you guys are thinking about getting in this business, it's not something that you need to be scared about. You just get a regular restroom trailer. It's on your end customer, which most of the time, like I said, your end customer is just going to be a backyard wedding or something. Uh, so it's not going to even factor in. And if it's going to be at a business or a venue, it's on them. It's on them. I mean, if you get tons of phone calls for ADA compliant, you can get an, an ADA restroom uh, and charge a whole lot more for it. But in the general everyday rental, it's not needed. We're just the equipment company. They're the ones throwing the event. It's on them. I'm never going to get in trouble for it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>